Hola a todos, bienvenidos a mi canal. Soy Lira y hoy os traigo un nuevo episodio de Dust, Analysian Tay. Bueno, estamos aquí en las montañas estas raras y no me acuerdo dónde tenemos que llegar. Así es verdad, tenemos doble salto. Bueno, aquí hay una tienda, voy a comprarle cosas. Voy a comprarle comida. Aunque bueno, creo que tengo bastante. Bueno, tengo tres, tengo tres, tengo nueve. Voy a comprarle uno de estos. Y tengo 11 de estas. Soy medio retra. Bueno, no importa. ¡Ay, mierda! Y tengo que mirar a ver si le puedo vender algo. Modo de venta. Vamos aquí. Y sí, aquí hay cositas que le puedo vender. Como por ejemplo esto. Y esto. ¡Hala! Nada, sí. De nada, hombre. A ver, bueno, parece que nuestro objetivo está ahí, ya, en la siguiente pantallita. Así es que vamos a ver. Sí, ya sé que no es por aquí, pero voy a... ¡Eh, eh! There, there was a road here. I remember it. Before that day. ¿Qué día, Dust? Bueno, pues había un camino ahí, pero ya no lo hay. A ver, parece ser que el... Look, up ahead. A village. A village. Way up here? Do you think it's that moonblood camp Kane was talking about? No, it's something else. It's en enough talking. Let's get up there. Pues venga, vamos, adelante. Oh, unos columpios, oh. Un, un un parque, qué bonito. Oh oh. What? No. Impossible. Cassius. Vaya, pues. Soy Casio, sí, como las radios. Who are you? What are you doing in this place? You, you were dead. No, no, this is not possible. I don't know what demon you are, but you will not step any closer. Kill this thing. Ay, coño, que viene el 25 encima. Curate. ¡Vamos! ¡Vamos! ¡Ay, te quedaste tonto! ¡Qué pena! Pues se ve que soy yo. No es mi nombre. Lo recuerdo. Lo sé cuando lo escuché. Pues yo creo que sí que eres Cassio. Uy. Tranquilico, ¿eh? Quiero jugar en el tobogán. Nada. Me parece que tu infancia ya pasó. Alce aldea Zeplich. A ver si hay alguien aquí. Estamos buscando a la chica Ginger, ¿vale? Looks like this place has been destroyed for quite some time. A year, actually. Pero por qué sabes tantas cosas? How do you know that? This was Ginger's village. I was here one year ago. According to Fuse, according to Ginger, I helped murder everyone in this village. Oh, dust. But I don't remember any of it. I remember this place, but it feels like it's been more than a year. Ara, what does it mean? It only means that things are not as they seem. Explore the village further, Dust. Let us see what secrets it hides. Jotío, vaya movida. Vaya movida. A ver, vamos a explorar la aldea entonces. Eh, ahí puedo entrar. This house. Do you remember something, Dust? This is impossible. Vamos para allá, a ver. Dust. Dime. How? Do you see now? No, no veo nada. How, I don't understand. Yo tampoco me lo explicas. The lie above, Dust. Vale, pues las respuestas están arriba, Dust. Vamos allá. ¿Qué pasa aquí? Ginger. 
She was sleeping right here on the night I came to say goodbye. But I hesitated. I didn't want to wake her. Didn't want her to worry about me. She couldn't know what I was about to do. Just... What are you saying? She couldn't know that I was about to go avenge our parents. You mean... Ah, el hermano de Ginger. You're... But how? What's going on here? I... I remember now. But how? How can I have helped destroy this village, but be a victim of that same act? That's impossible. Only impossible for a creature with a single soul. Ginger. Those eyes. I know those eyes. So, Mithrarin, you finally see the truth. Who are you? I am Elder Grey Eyes, leader of the Moonblood people. Well, what's left of them, that is. What did you mean just then, that I can finally see the truth? What do you know about me? His eyes, Elder. They're Jin's eyes. They do look remarkably similar to your brother's, yes. That is because his soul lives on within dust. What? Ah, vale. However, Creo que to suit empiezo a our needs, we required two souls. The soul of innocence is a noble thing, but without skill, without power, dust would have been struck down just as easily as your brother was on that fated day. No. So we combined your brother's soul with that of his murderer, the royal assassin known as Cassius. They perished at the same time, forever entwined. Never before had I heard of such an event. Bueno, pues por lo menos ya sabemos quién soy. Bueno, quién es Das. You murderer! My parents did nothing wrong! You have been deceived, little one. Your parents turned against their king, an act of pure treason. What resistance there was, was led by your family alone. You destroyed my village, murdered my friends and family. You will not survive this day! I take no joy in slaughtering one as young as you, child. But you have forced my hand. A grave injustice was done that day. Cassius murdered a defenseless djinn, but his pride and arrogance proved to be his undoing. But how? How can this... this thing be my brother? It's not possible. I couldn't even remember you when we met. You are djinn, yes. But you are also Cassius. Two souls, forever at odds. One of innocence, one of power. Together you form the one we call Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust. I never knew what happened. Jin just disappeared one night. I had always hoped he would turn up alive someday. That he would come back. But could you really be him? Ginger, I don't know. I... I don't know. Now, Dust, I imagine you have many questions. Pues sí, tengo Please, do not hesitate to ask them. A ver. Who, or Empecemos I guess, por el principio. what am I? You are what my people call Sen Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust, created from the essence of the life thread itself. You see, my people have been on the verge of extinction for a great many years. General Gaius planned to eradicate us once and for all. And while our warriors are proud and strong, what chance would we have against such a powerful foe? To defeat General Gaius and save our people, we would need a warrior capable of standing against an entire army. This warrior would also need to be pure of heart, incorruptible. So that's why you picked Cassius and Jin. Just like you said, opposites. Exactly. 
Cassius was one of the greatest warriors this world has ever seen, and Jin's purity of heart would help guide our warrior to save our kind. From their fallen souls, you were born. Born to save us. To save this world. Why did I only remember now? I didn't even recognize Ginger when I met her. You may possess the souls of two separate beings, but your body and mind are your own. You were created to save this world, so we felt giving you memories of either soul would simply distract you from the task at hand. I had no idea who I was, what my purpose was. You say that, but in all cases you did exactly what we intended you to do. You saved complete strangers outside of Aurora Village. You stopped our wayward brother Fuse from destroying all that we sought to save. You saved Mudpot and brought the waters of life back into this land. You purged a demonic rage from this land and even helped two old souls find peace once more. You may not have known your purpose, but that did not stop you from fulfilling it. And now I'm here. Yes, now you are here. And we can finish this fight once and for all. Who was Fuse? He said he was a Moonblood, but he looks nothing like you. Fuse. He was once a fine warrior, and a close friend of Ginger's family. He would help transport goods between this village and our camp. After the village was destroyed, I guess he lost his mind. He was horribly disfigured after the attack. The only way he could survive was in a special suit of magical armor that I helped to construct. He demanded we attack General Gaius right away, but I would not hear any of it. He would have killed us all in the name of vengeance. We would not have stood a chance. When I refused to send our warriors into battle, he called me a coward and vowed that he would destroy Gaius with or without my help. I fear the very armor we made to save his life had corrupted his mind and body beyond repair. Poor guy. If only we could have gone through to him somehow. No, you're right to kill him. If he had remained alive, there's no telling what damage he could have done. Ginger is right. Fuse was beyond saving. For all our sakes, I hope the same is not true of the world he sought to protect. How does the Blade of Ara fit into all this? What is it, exactly? It is one of the five blades of Elysium, ancient weapons forged when our kind were many, and the way of the flameless light was commonplace. Wait, wait, wait. What the heck is the way of the flameless light? A path we Moonbloods continue to follow. It is a way of living, a way of thought that allows us to make use of a power both old and great. Magic without magic. I am so confused. Surely, as Nimbat Sword Guardian, you've studied the ancient doctrines. You must know, in the event that the sword is summoned by its rightful owner, you are obligated to follow. I may have skipped over that chapter? You haven't answered my question. The Blades of Elysium were created to guide their sword-bearer's dust. I was summoned to your side to ensure a balance was maintained between the souls within you. Ah, my old friend. It is good to hear your voice once more. It has been a long time, Master. Wait just a second. How can you possibly know each other? My clan's been keeping the sword hidden for over 200 years. Master Grey Eyes has lived for a very long time, Fidget. Longer than any of you. So you were sent to keep an eye on me? To help you reach your true potential. Nothing more. I have no more questions. What now? You must join us in the Moonblood Camp to the north in the Everdawn Basin. That isn't anywhere near the Everdawn Volcanoes, is it? They are one and the same, yes? Well, that's fantastic! Volcanoes? Indeed. 
What a better place to hide than in the most volatile land in all the kingdom? Oh, I know. How about a peaceful meadow? Or a quiet forest? Or someplace that doesn't explode every ten minutes? Dust, your friend seems awfully tense. No, I'm fine. Come on, let's go to the blowing up mountains. Really, I'm serious. Fidget, you need to have more faith in me. I'll have faith in you when you have faith in yourself. How about it, huh? Who are you? Really? Soy Dust. I am... I... Uh... You see? You still haven't figured it out yet! The lizard guy tells you right to your face, and you still don't know! Fidget, please calm down. You mustn't test your friend like this. I just... <sighs> If I'm gonna follow you to the literal end of this world, I need to know who I'm following, and why. I understand, Fidget. You're right. I can't ask you to follow me. But I can. Fidget, you have stood by Dust's side for this entire journey. You have watched him save this world. How can you continue to doubt? I just don't get it. It doesn't matter who he thinks he is. He's Dust. That's who he is. That's who I know. Fidget, please. I can't do this without you. Can you, uh... Can you repeat that? I said I can't do this without you. I'm sorry. I just... Nobody's ever said that to me before. And it won't be the last time, I assure you. Are you ready, Mithrarin? I am. Then we will meet you in the Everdawn Basin. Goodbye, Dust. We'll see you there. Bueno, pues por lo menos ya sabemos quién es Dust. Es una movida brutal, pero bueno, lo sabemos. Has descubierto la verdad sobre ti mismo. Reúnete con Ginger y el anciano en el campamento oculto al pie de la cuenca del eterno amanecer. De acuerdo. Vamos, pues. Adelante. Adelante, ¿me dejaréis guardar en algún sitio? Sí, gracias. A ver. Bueno, vamos por mitad de juego según esto. Pone 50%. General Gaius? What news, Commander? I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that... wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology. And we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. ¿Y quién te dice que mi mente está corrompida? Madre mía, cuenca del eterno amanecer. Aquí el santuario. No sé lo que tengo que hacer, así que me voy a la cuenca del eterno amanecer, ¿va? Capítulo 5. Leyenda. Vamos para allá. Vale, tenemos que ir a los volcanes. Wow. Campamento Sanguiluno. Vamos allá. Vale, aquí podemos guardar. Y vamos a seguir porque llevamos muy poquito. ¡Ay, coño! ¡Qué es lava! ¡Lol! A ver. Quiero no quemarme. Vale. Joder, que no vi. Eh, ¿qué es eso? Oh, it's you. Apologies, Mithrara. Please, enter. 
Vale, jolín, no me das esos sustos, eh Ah, vale, no, no me tengo que pegar con nadie Por ahora Wow, ahora tengo un montón de soldados ¿Y aquí qué es esto? Tu presencia en Mithrarin Preparaciones para la guerra son casi completas Sí, esto es todo lo que os queda, porque... General Gaius es nada, si no es duro. Sus fuerzas han exterminado la mayoría de los Moonbloods de este land. Somos todo lo que se queda. ¿Cómo esperas ganar con tan pocos soldados? No podemos. Por eso hemos creado el Zen Mithrarin. Tú, Dust, vas a volver la tide. Ah, bueno... No me gusta nada. Sí... Sí, claro. Does General Gaius know of this place? I fear he does now. What? How? One of Vamos, que nos van a atacar en nuestra propia casa. Ah, el comerciante. Ah, I knew that creepy merchant was one of you guys. How did a moonblood operate so freely in the wildlands? He is a smart businessman. Deals in all the right places. Gaius's soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sereth was helping you to find us. And that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Not long, I'm afraid. The whole purpose of Gaius's campaign is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has. And destroy us. I see no sorts of lamps here, but no fire. Is this the way of the flameless light? It is, yes. In ancient times, the Moonbloods went by another name. We lived in a great society called the Sintak, and we wielded the knowledge to follow the way of the flameless light. Settle in dust. This could take a while. We Sintak harnessed a power unlike any this world had ever seen. We built elaborate contraptions like these lamps, capable of piercing the darkness without so much as a spark. Well, obviously something went wrong, because we still have to build a fire every time Dust pulls out his map. Unfortunately, the ancient tomes do not say how the Sintuk fell, and that knowledge has been lost. Perhaps intentionally. All we know is that our kind were made as outcasts, and that has remained true for countless generations. For the longest time, we believe the Moonbloods were the only ones left who know of the way of the flameless light. But we were wrong. When General Gaius began his purge, there were stories of their weapons. Stories of elaborate contraptions that seemed to defy the natural world. Weapons that sound identical to those of the Sintuk in the most ancient of tales. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Arrows made of light. Machines that take to the sky like birds. And we are supposed to fight these things with your lamps. I did not say it would be easy. Nobody ever does. I did once, remember? Yeah, and you were wrong. Well, I'm here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp's support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. There is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He is not checked in for many hours, but with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. Vale. Preséntate ante Kier junto al campamento y ayuda a Sanjin a restablecer los sistemas de apoyo a los anguilunos. Pues vale. Pues vale, pero será otro rat... En serio, cada vez que veo a un tío de estos, me, me espanto. Ah, mira, aquí está Ginger. Hola, Ginger. Ginger? Gin? Oh, Dust. It's you. Yeah, just me. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. 
Yes, he had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. Aro was always testing me. Every time I made a choice, he would tell me if it was the right one. I was choosing whether to follow Jin or Cassius. I believe they were both trying to influence my actions. And you listened to Jin? Yeah, he's kinda hard to ignore. He is, isn't he? Or at least he was. No, Ginger, I think you were right the first time. I think Jin continues to live through my actions. He's guiding me, keeping me on the right path. But what of your other half? Cassius murdered my family, Dust. He destroyed my village, killed my friends. How can you control such a terrible being? I feel his presence every time I swing the blade of Ara. I believe the Elder was right. Without him, I'd have been cut down long ago. But Jin... Jin keeps him from taking control. As long as Cassius lives within you, though, there's always that danger. You could always be pulled to a path of evil. I won't lie. I felt him pulling me to take the quick and easy path. To leave the weak to fend for themselves. To show no mercy to those in my way. Perhaps someday you can be rid of his foul presence. Maybe. Someday. For now, I need him to defeat Gaius. There's no other way. I know. Still, I'm glad we were able to talk, Dust. Me too, Ginger. I'll be back before you know it. Be careful. Bueno, vale. Bueno, chicos, pues ahora sí que lo vamos a ir dejando por aquí. Me voy a ir a guardar. En serio, cada vez que veo estos tíos me dan ganas de pegarles. Porque me asustan. Y a ver, vamos a ir aquí a guardar. Cuidado con la lava, no te vuelvas a caer como antes. Tonta lava. Venga. Bueno, chicos, pues eso, lo vamos a dejar aquí por hoy. Eh, ha sido más conversación que acción este capítulo. Pero nos hemos enterado de muchas cosas. Ha estado interesante. Así que espero que os haya gustado. Dadle a like si es así. Y nos vemos en el próximo vídeo. ¡Hasta luego!